Facebook group, the International Brotherhood of Palavarans, and to progressive discussions, I am your host, James P. Madonna, the founder of the Facebook group, the uh, International uh, Brotherhood of Palavarans in 2012, and as well as Mega Life 21 and progressive discussions. And I am here with the one and only, my very close friend, and a uh, 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 my partner, co-host Jeff Sambello. How are you, sir, this week? Outstanding. Looking forward to a great show tonight. We are going to have a great show. And I just want to welcome and salute Mr. Chris Falcone has joined our show. Oh, good. The great Chris Falcone. I salute you. He's the man who, who came up with the... The title, I mean the title, International Brotherhood of Polyphons. And he created the, uh, the banner for, the, for the, uh, uh, the front cover of the group. And he's he, doing a lot in South America. Yes, he is. Martial art. He's training people in, in martial arts in Ecuador, the Amazon jungle. Uh, uh, the Native Americans down there, he's training them. He, he's a Polyphon. He has a, a man who makes his clubs. I believe he's Persian. Anyway, to keep the evil spirits away, seven lucky bells from the official uh, uh, Poly, Fro Poly Fly Road uh, Hilton Hotel in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. The New Jersey office, the New Jersey branch, and this is not a, a lubricated olive branch. The New Jersey branch. Main office for Jeff Zambello. All right. You got it? You got it? So, All right. so do we have any uh, Golden Cape ones, uh nominees yet? No, not, not yet. Anyway. That's the Ed Norton Honeymooners Bell. All right. Now, we'll get right to it. The title of the show, American Sucker Consumers, Lies and Deception in Our Rig System. Uh, rig for the fat cats to, you know, to do with uh, their underhand, the dirty deeds. Don't let them fuck you up the tar ass. All right? Up the tar ass. And you figure out our sarcasm. Okay, trumpet of truth. <laughs> The shofar for our show. And I got the uh, Polyvon Paisleys. The Polyvon Paisleys. I got my mug. Wonderful. Got to be careful. So, with I, I, I called you last night. I, you're, you're nice and busy, which I appreciate. I saw the posting. Um, anyways, uh, so... I had some very, very good feedback from um, the men at the church. Like it, it, it exceeded everybody's expectations. And because of the men that attended last week, they're telling more men. And so we're going to have a bigger, even a bigger turnout this weekend. So everybody's very 
excited oh. about the uh, centrifugal torque training and um, um, body weight calisthenics um, class. So, so, in other words, these people have been illuminated. They've seen the light finally. They're making a complete turnaround, and they see the value in what you're trying to do with your Jeff Sambello's muscle and ministry with a message. They're finally getting it. And there's a lot of um, word of mouth out there. That's why people are coming. More people are coming this week. Wow. You know, I, I was shocked. word of mouth. You can't shocked. beat word of mouth advertisement. And and they're spreading the word. I did, I did not even need to hire or commission a very expensive web page designer. <laughs> you you didn't need a a, a marketing uh, a, a firm company uh, to that, that tends to make people's shoulders look much wider than they really really are. I mean, make them look bigger than life, and make and make the and make the 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 evil clowny balloony that's over their shoulder look like it's uh, the size of of an asteroid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I hear what you're saying. In other words, no no sales hype, no marketing hype. It's nah, don't need to. Don't it's need it mouth. because <laughs> if you do your job right, that's that's how you well. People. You're the real deal. You 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 have honesty. You have integrity. You you know what you're doing. You because you are you are a living testimonial. You rehabilitated yourself successfully. And the men and for the powerlifting. Uh, this is separate from um, uh, the fitness ministry. Um, they're so excited and. One guy just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And he did last night for training. He did 585 pound deadlift. That's wow. six repetitions. Wow! And 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 this gentleman is going to be a pound deadlift. And he is raw. going. He is going no, to no deadlifts to raw. So so he around and then when he goes to Canadian Nationals in 2020, he's going to try for 800 pounds. He will get. A four hundred and fifty pound um, raw bench press as well. So, because um, he did, he did two <laughs> reps with four hundred twenty-five pounds last weekend. So, what? The, what is the? Yeah, what, what is the very uh, uh, next uh, athletic event that that your protege will be competing in? Please uh, tell the people. Uh, um, it's called the PEI Open, and um, it means Prince Edward Island. That's one of the, uh, the, the maritime provinces up here. And uh, Prince Edward Island is a, is, is a small province, and uh, but everybody from all over Atlantic Canada, from Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, um, and Prince Edward Island are going to be attending this, and some people from Quebec. Okay. So at least four provinces, if not five provinces. Oh, wow. Um, so, but, that, but that means a lot that people and from... I was lucky to get in because they cut it off at 60 lifters and somebody bowed out and I was able to get in. I don't, I, I'm only going up there just for my... Um, the, the guys that I'm training. and Because uh, really, I like to lift in the United States and uh, I compete 100% uh, drug-free and drug tested. Yes. So it, I compete in the USA PL. Very, very string, stringently and, and strictly drug tested. Oh, and, uh, it's, the, it's the best federation in the world. It's the International Powerlifting Federation. And um, I lived in the United States uh, branch of it. And um, it's very, very strict. And it's, it's awesome. And there's actually there's a paused bench. So when you put it on your chest, you have to wait for the judge to say press. When you squat, you go below parallel. And, um, you know, deadlift is deadlift. You can either pick, you can either pick it up or not. This is on fancy low. You just can't itch it. Um, so anyways, that's enough about that. Um, I had a great session today. I'm um, trying to emulate um, one of the super, superstars, superstar 
legends from powerlifting, uh, Ed Cohn, C-O-A-N, uh, he's from Indiana. He um, pulls close to 900 pounds in his day. He's retired now. He's a legend. And um, so he lifts, he does a deadlift semi-sumo. And I don't like sumo. Um, that's when your feet are all the way out touching the plates. Right. And conventional is when your feet are very close together. This is modified. And it's a squat stand. But you put your your uh, hand or your arms between your legs to grab the bar. Anyway, enough about that. That went very well today. Yeah. Um, well, but you're always you're, like, training's going well, getting nice and thick. Um, I've been doing cardio every other day. When I do my cardio, I do 500 uh, repetitions of leg presses. I do. Um, 100, five sets of 100 reps with a light weight, um, uh, anywhere from 150 to 180, 185, um, it's play loaded. So whatever, every machine is different. But anyways, it's outstanding and it's something I learned from David Goggins, the very, very famous Navy SEAL and anybody out there who doesn't know who David Goggins is doesn't read, is blind, uh, because David Goggins is an ultra marathoner, he's a power lifter, he's a Navy SEAL, he's an Army Ranger, and he's an Air Force power rescue, yeah, so anyways, he's done all of the elite um, um, operations, uh, special operations in all of the branches when he was a Navy SEAL. So um, nobody else has done that. And um, so anyways, uh, I, I've, I've read his book now three times. Mm. Three times I've read his book. And when I read his book, every time I get more out of it, it's, I highly recommend to every single power of out there. It makes you mentally tough. Oh, it's not motivation. He hates motivation. Um, he wants inspiration. He doesn't want anybody to hear or worship anybody. He says, you are God. You are God. So you look up to yourself. He says, no matter what your capabilities are, you can be the best worker at your office or your company. You could be the best athlete. Um, it's, you're competing against you. And what, what that means is that when you get tired, you dig deep, deep, deep down inside. You don't do what everybody else does. And you don't get afraid to break yourself. I mean, you got to do proper form, whatever it is. You wake up, if you have to wake up at three in the morning to work out, you never miss a workout. Um, and he says you have to, to stop doing so much social media. He, he, and um, I've actually cut my friends down. I only had 20 friends on my Facebook to David Gargan, and obviously is one of them. And um, and then all my Army ROTC um, uh, um, colleagues, I guess, uh, the people I attend college with, they're all retired now. They're, they were either retired as a full bird colonel or as a lieutenant colonel. And most of them are Army Rangers and Special Forces. Uh, they were all airborne, and actually, um, so my um, um, military science professor, uh, Colonel Benway, mm -hmm. he's 74, he still competes in powerlifting, he lives outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, um, he still competes in drug-free powerlifting, he's going to be actually competing with me on September 15th in Portland, Maine, oh, wow. at the USAPL. Um, 100% drug free, drug tested, and we're going to have a class reunion with all my Army ROTC uh, college um, college t team, whatever you want, cadets. My, yeah, my, my cadets. Yeah. Now, yeah. now so Larry, anyway. Larry Pacifico is another legend in powerlifting too. Yeah. Yeah, from Dayton, Dayton, Ohio, I believe he was from. But I'll tell you one guy that I really respect. That's an international world record holder is Steve Angel, who's also a Palavan. Steve, um, 
um, unlike some people, uh, he loves the Hanuman. And he swings that every day. Well, he definitely has a deep respect for, expert, for the, for the train. Persian meal swinging. This man has an outstanding collection. Steve Angel That's true. is a world famous grip champion. He has a whole wall of grippers. Of he has um, uh, all these grip apparatuses, uh, apparatus um, in his home gym. Um, he set all kinds of world records politics. He does stone lifting. Um, well, well, that's the first. Uh, uh, that's the kingdom. That's the first. Real self because he does strength sports and he does circuit. Uh, sorry, centrifugal torque training. And yeah, um, that's the word. That's the phrase that James and I patented. Um, so. You know, well, that's the first thing that that's the first thing that gets strengthened is your your forearms, thus your grip when you when you're doing centrifugal torque training. Uh, yeah. uh, not to be confused with any terminology that Mr. Uh, Scott, Mr. I Scott. Mean, it, uh, uh, it's no, I mean, I mean, I mean, when Scott Sonnen threatened a lawsuit against Richard Army McGuire. For using the words circular training because somehow he he suckered some judge into having him uh, copyright those words and and how could you take ownership of words that are in the dictionary I mean come on exactly it's ridiculous hey, Richard McGuire is a legend and a man with a big big heart who gives and gives his time People right. to teach them. Uh oh, I hear somebody. Somebody's on the. Uh, no, no, it's uh, no. You know what it is? It's something that's ticking me off. It's um, uh, on on my Google uh, browser. I have, believe it or not, I have a pop up blocker that is failing to work. It is not blocking anything. It is. It is. It is part of the of one of my topics uh, that I'm going to read. Um. But uh, I just want everyone to pay close attention to these shows because this man, Jeff Zambello, his uh, uh, muscle and ministry with a message and, and, and what he's putting his disciples, his, uh, his uh, clients through or his, his protégés through is a very well-balanced physical fitness regime that is designed to prevent injury, to increase strength, muscle mass, power, but, but facility is my primary objective with these people. Functional mobility, mobility, and and the stability of safe training without the use of uh, drugs. Now, and uh, no jerky movement, no um, popping movement. Everything's controlled. That, to, yes. to serve the body, not to um, uh, be a fake uh, hero and try to uh, move more weight than one uh, than one should be doing. Um, everything is personal. Yes. Everybody has different parents. Everybody comes to training with a with a long a long history. Of injuries, and in, so we try to reverse these injuries. And um, so I thank all my all my teachers and mentors um, in circular, oh, sorry, centrifugal torque training and uh, weightlifting and kettlebell sport. Everybody who's taught me anything, mm -hmm. um, I've taken a potpourri uh, from everybody, and. Um, well, you also give kudos and thanks to the people you learn from, too, unlike other people. Well, you have to, because um, I appreciate everything I've learned from everybody. And I, I want to give respect. Just because you don't get respect back doesn't mean I cannot give respect 
to people. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a special place in my heart for all of my instructors. And you know, you might get disappointed. People will disappoint you, but that's okay. Um, we need to rise above it, um, just like right. um, you know, God wants us to do, and uh, move on with life. Well, every and so thank you, everybody who's ever yeah. taught me anything. Or uh, James, you taught me a lot. You taught me how to do the, the half moon. I'm not there yet. I have a long way to go. A long way to go to do that. But I thank you for that. Did, did, I thank you for the um, the power band uh, training. Um, well, there's also uh, there's I also I, my eyes to the ways of the world, and um, unfortunately the, the industry. Uh, but uh, no, I thank you. And I, I said humbly, and uh, again, this is going to be a good show and. All James and I try to do is we just try to open people's eyes and we just we kind of want to take the fog away from everybody's delusion. I don't mean that in a cynical way. I mean, some people get so caught up in, um, you know, hero worshiping uh, people in general, whether it's yeah. professional athletes, uh, instructors, college professors, uh, politicians. You know, it's like, uh, I remember uh, Monica Lewinsky's eyes when she saw Bill Clinton in the crowd. <sighs> like, you know, you got to take yeah. it easy, people. She was, was, she, was batting her, she was batting her eyelashes like Tammy Faye Baker. She was batting her eyelashes. Mm. Yeah, or like Betty Boop in the, in the cartoon. She was batting them away, you know. But uh, I, me, I always mention the person's name that gives me valuable information or advice or like, like I, I posted the uh, industrial uh, warehouse pallet bands. And I, I mentioned the man who turned me on to them, Ken Thiessen. I saw that. I, you know, I mean, and I put the link and, and they're definitely much more difficult than any exercise bands or tubings sold on, in sporting goods stores or, or, through uh, uh, sports related internet companies, much tougher, much because you, you gotta you gotta figure it's common sense. L look at the hundreds, if not thousands of pounds that could be sitting on any given pallet uh, in a warehouse or a, or on a car a cargo ship. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, it has to be very strong to be able to support that. Now. Um, uh, speaking of Ken Thiessen, I wish, one of my wishes is that Ken Thiessen and Kashi Azad team up for a wonderful seminar in Southern Florida. Could you imagine, could you imagine the value of, of that workshop in, 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 Boca, in Boca Raton, Florida with, with Ken Thiessen teaming up with Kashi Azad? And, and 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 sharing and renting out, um, uh, getting a big venue and, and doing a workshop the both of them with their credentials, the both of them combined. Can you mm. imagine that? I'm surprised. You couldn't put a price tag on that, James. And it's I think a and, a time up a joint. and let me tell you something. I just got I just got a light bulb over my head. I think I know why. The great Ken Thiessen has not been booked in Southern Connecticut, Southeastern Connecticut yet, because he dared to critique a certain someone, uh, uh, Donna King. That's not a real name, but just think of Donna King. She, he dared to critique someone publicly that deserved being corrected in terms of, uh, 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 I'll pull up. I'll the, pull down. The wrong, yeah, and hands together. That's right. The wrong. She was doing. Kelly was doing the wrong. She was performing incorrect form, and the great Kent Thiessen, who has a ton of credentials, corrected her. Okay, publicly, and she probably didn't like that because, she, as a feminist, her ego is uh, is enormous. And she and and usually, unfortunately, 
when someone has any amount of power or authority, uh, it happens in it happens in Hollywood. It happens in, it happens in show business. Yeah, you ever hear you ever hear of office politics and the casting couch and the, well, let's just say office politics. It happens in professional wrestling all the time. Oh, you kiss his, you kiss the promoter's ass. He likes you. He might even love you. Then he, then you get breaks. The other guy doesn't kiss the promoter's ass. He gets nothing. You know. Mm. So, the, I have a feeling it has oh, to do with oh. ego. The ego of the feminazi is the it, because she was critiqued is the reason. Feminazi of the Illuminati. <laughs> why? Yeah, I mean, they think about it. What? Why? What? Now this is what I try to tell the uh, the, the beer snobs on the on the show that does uh, those uh, uh, wild card Wednesday and thirsty thirsty Thursdays. They they don't understand the meaning of charisma and pizzazz. We have it. Uh, 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 a lot of people don't have it, and uh, you know you you you, you can't put people. Welcome to come on the show. Welcome, brother. Follow us. You can't oh, you you can't you can't put people to sleep if you're doing a live show. You can't put you you got to have some charisma and pizzazz, and and that's what I told. The wooden horse zero charisma. Well, I told one time. I told uh, Mr. Maceman uh, that his webpage uh, at that time, he it was called I think Liberty Strength, Liberty Strength Training with the sta uh, with some kind of black and white drawing of the Statue of Liberty. I says, I Was says, hey, no. I says you got no, you have no color, you have no. You have nothing. You have no eye candy on your web page. It, it's very bland and conservative and and gray looking and dark. It's all. It's boring. And he said, I don't. I don't want any. Uh, it's it's my website and I, and that's the way I want it. All right, that's the way you want. Just like I made. I, I you know I posted on Paul Tear Ass. Walker Winsky's page and on Mr. Maceman's page, happy birthday banners in, in, in neon lights or whatever. They pulled it right off, the both of them, because they're stuffed shirts. They, they don't know the meaning of the words charisma and pizzazz. You know, so th this is, I really hate office politics. You know why? Because the most, that means the most qualified people, Jeff, don't get a break in life. They don't get ahead because they're not kissing some egomaniacal bastard, smelly swamp ass anus mm. to get to get that first break in the business. Now, here's an example of the title of the show. Perfect so example. How, so how can we help Ken? And how can we help Kashi get more, more um, uh, seminars when it comes from Australia? It would be a beautiful thing to have Ken. Get well, the pro well the the first the first listen the problem with the both there's no problem with the both of them per se the problem is the people in the alternative uh, uh, centrifugal torque training world they are the problem the gym owners are the problem because no one else seems to be booking. The great Kashi Azad, after the poor soul is going to fly 30 hours from Sydney, Australia. I don't see anybody else, not, not even in the Northeast, anybody else booking him. Now, and who cares if, if, if uh, Kelly gets pissed off because she wants to be selfish and hog him all to herself? I don't give a fuck. Kashi's a grown man. He can do any fucking thing he wants, you know, and nobody else is booking him. So what is this guy going to do? He's going to fly 30 hours from Sydney and then to Connecticut and then fly 30 hours back just for one event? Now, the same reason why no, no one is booking the great Ken Thiessen. The great Ken Thiessen is not being booked because of office politics, ego, most of all, most of all, stupidity. It's stupid to 
to waste some uh, talent like Kent Thiessen and not book him for seminars. Uh, uh, you ever remember? You remember that that commercial, the United uh, Negro College Fund? A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah. Well, well, athletic, natural athletic talent and know-how, knowledge, in this, in in the um, fitness world, because I won't call it a fitness industry anymore, because that's what corrupted it. The fitness world, okay, the best of the best. The, in other words, the cream should always rise to the top. Like when I say cream, it, people like um, uh, uh, John uh, John Holmes, uh, uh, Ron Jeremy. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Uh, uh, no, people like uh, Steve Maxwell, Richard Army McGuire. You know, uh, uh, Kashi is Yeah, and Ken Thiessen. The, these are people that are worthy of being integrity. booked integrity worthy of being booked for uh i don't even like to use the word seminar I, i'll use the word workshop because seminar makes me think of of tony robbins bullshit or or, or an infomercial so let's just call workshops and uh, uh a centrifugal torque training now uh Bait and switch. Talk about lies and deception. Uh, Google Chrome is a great browser, but the problem is they shove lots of spam down your throat, just like Microsoft, uh, uh, I mean, Windows 10 operating system. They shove, they call, it bloat, they call it bloatware. They shove spam down your throat. So what do I do? I, I look for, I see free pop-up blocker. All right, so you, de you, you, you attach, you uh, download or upload, whatever, I guess, you, 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 um, you procure the uh, free uh, pop-up blocker from uh, the Google Chrome store. And okay, you read about it, oh, it sounds wonderful. It sounds like it's going to really work. Well, guess what? It doesn't work because uh, obviously you heard noises before. And uh, the more you click, the more you close them, the more you try to get rid of them, the more pops up. So the pop-up block blocker doesn't work. So what do they do? They offer you the professional pop-up blocker that, that you have to pay for. Money, yeah. money, money, money. Right. Now. What is that called? In, in, in the old, in the uh, it's called it's called it's called bait and switch, isn't it? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. In other words, in other words, you advertise that your free version, your free software, is fantastic, and then you download on it, and all of a sudden, something goes wrong. Like it, it, it's not. It's not working at all, or, 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 or all of a sudden you see trial, uh, um, a trial version uh, it has expired. Wait a minute! I didn't download on the trial version. I downloaded on the free version. Okay. In a lot of cases, you click on it. You think you're downloading on something great that that it tells you what it's going to be. It, the software tells you what it's going to be. And then lo and behold, it sends you to a totally different web page to a totally different product. It's, and I'm saying, wait, what the fuck? I, I, no, what, what are you sending me? I want, I don't want that. I want this software. But they're sending you somewhere where you have to pay for it. So in other words, you, you, from Los Angeles or Orange County all the way to Connecticut. Uh, yeah, so you're paying, so so they're advertising for something free and, and something that's supposed to work great, and they're immediately sending you somewhere where you have to pay for the program, mm. which is bait and switch, which means they're lying to the consumer. They are deceiving the consumer. Uh, bait and switch sounds like the only fishing boat in the ocean. But that's anyway. right. All right, another another uh, lie in advertisement. I'm just, there's plenty of them. 
but they but the system allows it because it's rigged. Uh, Budweiser. Now you you've heard of uh, Joseph Goebbels' Nazi propaganda. If, if you tell a lie often enough, the people eventually accept it to be true. Well, yep. look look at the chemical laden preservative uh, 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 saturated uh, macro nationally advertised beer called Budweiser. They call themselves the king of beers since I was a little kid. The king that of beers. But anyways, I digress. How could you be the king of beer if there are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds, maybe thousands of beers that are so far superior to your chemical laden preservative saturated garbage because mm -hmm. you spend they spend so well, much that's money. Not these chemicals. I want to hear this. This is good. They I didn't know that. I posted I, I posted it on the article on Holistic Health Talk, the, the other uh, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook group that I founded also in 2012, and it mentions the article, I will send it to you, it mentions all of the freaking chemicals that are in nationally advertised beers, you know, your Coors, your Millers, uh, Budweiser's, you know, and, and how could they be the king? Why? Because they say so? They're the king? I mean, I could say I'm in line to be Pope after, after uh, who's it, Pope Francis. I, I'm the next Pope. Uh, uh, Jeff, Jeff is going to be a second in command at the Vatican with me. Yeah, right. So, you know, the king. You're the king of beer. <laughs> you're the king. You're the king of beer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, office boys don't do it for me. But anyways, I digress. Yeah, so you got you got like uh, so you get you 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 um so you a mistletoe in Wisconsin da, da, da. so my pocket and I look handsome you're sixty dollar you know so handsome ah ticky ticky hot towel ticky now I mean. I mean, just just because you you just because you hire some horse trainer to bring a bunch of Clydesdales up in a, yeah, the king. I'm the king of. Look at me. I'm the king of beers. Yeah, the, the king of beers. Right. My ass. I mean, you know, because you say so. So that's what I'm saying. If you if you tell the same lie over and over again, these suckers, these sycophants, these hero worshippers, start believing it. They believe that Tony Robbins or Joel Olstein or Jimmy Swaggart or um, they believe. I have sinned. I have sinned. Wait a minute. Oh, boy, do I have news for you, Jeff Zambello. And the people. I thought it was a nod, 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 or no, wink, wink, nod, No, nod. no, 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 not yet. Um. Uh, Jim Baker, the, the so-called Reverend Jim Baker, ha, has just got out of federal prison. He's been out of federal prison for a while. He's remarried and he has George Show. And guess what? He's selling this survival, this powdered survival food for the uh, the Ar the for Armageddon for the end times. Uh, get out of here! Time to go take a go fairy tale. Uh, <laughs> For God's sake, would you have little children that are sitting on his fucking lap? I'm it's telling you, he's trying, he's trying to hoodwink people by selling this powdered oh, survival that's food. Already? It's, pro I mean, it's probably some multi-level marketing pyramid scheme that, that he's involved in where the survival food for Armageddon, Jim Baker. So, so talk about deception and lying to people. And you know he hasn't learned his lesson, I guess, Jeff. Oh my goodness gracious! So now, now he's getting he's getting everybody like well, he's like Marshall Applewhite of Heaven's Gate. He's getting everybody ready for 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 the for the end of the world with his uh, special his special. Yeah. Why do these people need to put fear in you know, judge He's uh, he's he's exploiting people's fears to make money 
again, he hasn't learned his lesson in, in prison. He's doing it again. So, is master. so these people are the total opposite of what a true Palavan is. The, the lifestyle of a Palavan is like a, a Shaolin monk. These are humble uh, are people of honesty and integrity that don't lie. Okay. And uh, speaking of uh, lack of integrity, I'll, I'll tell you what happened to me today and everyone else. I, well, I had to get up. I had to get up early and get my oil changed at the mechanic because the the quickie lube place, the uh, uh, I don't know if they're Mexican or Central American. They they always give me some bullshit excuse that you know uh, they can't change my oil because they see a little leak. They always okay. tell me it's all right. So I. I get up early, go to the mechanic, a uh, highly rated mechanic uh, that actually shows you things. Now, of course, I say, all right, I want an oil change, and I want you to check the um, the uh, the oil pan to check, right, see yeah. if there's any leak. All right, that's all I asked for. What? Are, what? Are, all of a sudden, I see this guy with a flashlight. Uh, uh, inspecting my my wheels and shaking shaking my tires while the car is on the lift. Oh boy! I says, oh, what is this guy doing? He's he's looking he's looking for things that are wrong so he can he can he, he can uh, hit me up with a bigger bill and. and vacation home, but anyway, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. So so he's looking for things uh, that are wrong. So he can uh, uh, ring up a, a much. With that gig, he's networking for his next gig. Yeah, yeah, he wants to charge me more than what an oil change uh, 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 costs. So he's looking for Did things. More than a seminar? <laughs> uh, uh, sometimes, yeah. Uh, the cost of. Uh, oh, oh. The cost of wow. the cost of mechanics labor in the United States is is quite high. Uh, uh, you could you could easily pay hundreds of dollars, several hundred dollars for a job. So he saw he, right away. I see him pointing to me, saying, uh, "Come over here." I go, "Oh shit! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go!" I come over and. I said, why, why does he have to be inspecting my tires? Just change the oil and let me be on my way. He's showing me, that, oh, okay, okay. Oh, you, your brake pads are, are totally worn. It's metal to metal in the front. I said, all right, how much is the brake pads? All right, he told me, all right, 150. All right, that's not bad but for two brake pads. All right, do it. He says, yeah, but if you want, we do the rotors, we do this, we do this, we do that. I go, no, 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 no. So the owner, Vito, he always has an attitude. And especially if people are not suckers for him. And uh, as I'm about to drive away, uh, he says to me, um, oh, when you're ready to do everything else, I, I recommend it to you. It'll be an additional six hundred dollars for everything else uh, when when you're ready to come back. So he had to throw it up up to my face because I didn't say, "Okay, Vito, do everything." Well, yeah, I, I you show me Vito's place. Yeah. So it's like you know, hey, I went in for an oil change. How come every time I go in for an oil change, it's like. You know, it's like if you're on the operating table. It's like you're on a Christmas, Christmas shopping uh, <laughs> extravaganza over there. <laughs> yeah, the guy, I knew what was going to happen. I knew what was going to happen when he's shaking my tires and looking with a flashlight. So what I'm trying to say is the old bait and switch, uh, lying, blatantly lying in advertisement. There's a lot of, um, uh, believe me, the devil's economics is alive and well today. There is no doubt in that. But why do these people, why does everybody need so much money? Just keep a small house. 
get a regular car. Everybody has to upgrade to get in Cadillacs and BMWs and taking various specifications. Like, you just rip it off people. What are you selling chocolate diamonds? And then you get a, you die on the operating table getting a penis enlargement like the guy from Belgium. What about, uh, you know? What? Well, and then you pay his taxes. He owes the, the Belgian uh, tax authorities five, not million, five point two billion dollars in unpaid taxes. Holy shit. He's a diamond broker. So that's one man that, that haven't paid five point two billion dollars. How much money did he really make? Get taxed on five point two billion, and that's one person. So where are these other hundreds or these thousands of other diamond brokers? How much are they making? When is chance? When is enough money? Enough money for one person or, or a thousand people? Yeah. How how uh, how much money does it take to be content? I think. It was That's either it, it was either Jesus or or God in the Old Testament that said people should be content with contentment. Like you got you got your basic needs, you got your health, you you have shelter, you have clothes on your body, you have enough good food. Yeah, you, you, got a nice woman next to you, under the blanket. you 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 should be three in the morning. That's, that's life. It's a nice yeah. life. You should be content with contentment. Now, by the way, speaking of cars, uh, there is a pattern. Every single BMW driver that I have ever seen on a road is a discourteous asshole prick in the in the I way they drive. In, They're worse than Connecticut on the Merritt Parkway. In the way. Holy sugar. Oh, yeah. In the way they drive. There was wow. no doubt in my mind. Yeah, but they still have small penises. So why are they such tough guys? Well, uh, um, you, BMW? you ever see you ever see the midlife crisis uh, older man that buys the Ferrari or the Lamborghini? Well, the Corvette, the convertible. Yeah, and, and he's it looks like a jerk. Yeah, and and he's got he's like he, he sunglasses he, in a Corvette. He's bought. Sure. He's bald and he grows a ponytail on back of his head, and you know, and he's and he's. Well, what about his first wife? He's, he's out of shape. For a secretary at the office. He's out of shape and everything. He's got to prove something, you know. There's so much insecurity. Believe me, it's it's pathetic. People are so dysfunctional, Jeff Sambello. It's really sad, and uh, I want to read some verses. From the Bible that happened to really be in the Bible. Okay, and this has a lot to do with what we talk about. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Proverbs, um, was it chapter 22, verse 16? Okay, I, I hope I'm reading that correctly. Chapter 22, verse 16. Quote, as, the, as a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so does sin stick close between buying and selling. Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter 27 uh, verse 2. Quote, a faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent unquote proverbs uh, chapter 28 verse 20. so those are some interesting verses that a lot many people tend to ignore uh, um, and then of course there is uh prove all things hold fast that which is good one thessalonians Chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things. Prove it. You know, and uh, all these people, all these charlatans out there, they're just, 
There's so many of them. They're, they're like cockroaches, Jeff Zambello. They're just breeding. They're all over the place. And, you know, it really, it really. I want, uh, people who are seeking happiness. So people who seek happiness make other people happy with their money. Yeah, the hero worshiper. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and you really do not you have to. the poor, but they, they give my girl a cook. Yeah, like, like they, like, like a, a true, some, some, uh, some. Hotels or take airplanes all over the place. And, you know, like big shots. It's like, like uh, and, yeah. And take big shots. Now, like some Christians, some real uh, Christians, uh, um, not ostentatious uh, show-offs and, and, and hypocrites. Some real Christians have said, if you have a mega church that you're doing something wrong, you're not a real Christian, you should never have a mega church. You should be taking, if you're getting that much in donations, you should be helping the poor, the homeless, the, the veterans that are out in the street, you know, uh, uh, children that go to bed hungry, you know. They want their own religion, James. Well, they they want they also want to drive, ride in a limo, and, and drive sports cars in a mansion. You know, like uh, like Joel Osteen and uh, and people like him, the, the Benny Hinn. Uh, um, uh, hey, you know, what uh, that guy is. <laughs> yeah, evangelist. Uh, charlatan. What a charlatan. Yeah, like a charlatan uh, and a chameleon. Remember when Oral Roberts says if he doesn't receive fifty million dollars in donations, the Lord is going to take him. <laughs> yeah, so 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 all is it all the idiots out there out there that that uh, were his parishioners and watched his TV show. They got all worried. Oh, we don't want our poor Oral Roberts to be, to die. We don't want him to die. We gotta send money. Oh boy! You know, so it's like the hero worshippers that go to these steel mace seminars, and they might pay a thousand dollars a person to to listen to somebody babbling, uh, uh, telling stories uh, for most of the, the period, and then uh, uh, for ten minutes talking about ten o'clock, two o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah, but I was thirsty. <laughs> yeah, oh heaven forbid you should go to the watering hole, the, the oasis. You know, uh, uh, I think I think everybody clear out the gym. Everybody clear out the gym. I, I think he was. I think he was. I think he was tolerated by the gym owner because the gym owner might have made a pretty penny off of the. Uh, that seminar, even though everybody really was in dire need of that ice cold spring water. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of people that don't understand what we're talking about. But, it, you know, it's uh, our shows. He just stooped down to other people's level. Yeah, our shows are like a soap opera. You have to follow the story. And the way to follow the story is you have to join the International Brotherhood of Polyvons on facebook and you will be slowly spoon-fed pablum and you will uh, you know, they'll understand the innuendos yeah you will understand the sarcasm and the innuendos and uh it's really it's sad, sad. We, we, we don't like those you know but but it must yeah. be done the yeah truth must be exposed like like for instance instead of seeing people piss their money away on overpriced bullshit. We will show you ways you can save a lot of money and get the same optimal physical fitness training, like how to make your own Bulgarian bag, a Ken Thiessen taught us, out of, out of a uh, truck tire tube, okay? How to make your own <coughs> gata uh, or mace. <clears throat> how to uh, uh, with, um, what do you call it? parking cone, uh, cheap parking cones, or, or even with paper rolled up, you can 
You can make your own cement jewelries, Indian jewelry clubs. Uh, Ken Thiessen has done that. He has accomplished that. Uh, there are many ways to save money. I said, if you can't afford a Shanna board, get a couple red bricks. Get a couple of bricks or a couple of yoga blocks. Better yet, go to, go to the department store, buy a good, get buy a yoga kit, which or comes. A mall hammer. Yeah, or buy a, a, a mall hammer. All right. I mean, if you're in Canada, you'll you'll get a real mall hammer at a low price. If you're in the United States, you're gonna get fucked. You have to pay. You have to pay for everybody's. Uh... Lincoln Navigators, whatever the driver is, yeah. a contractor. Uh, they're telling me a landscaping contractor, the guy that mows people's lawns, has to drive a fucking Lincoln Navigator or a Chevy Suburban, you know, an $80,000 Denali. Like, come on, people! Just get a pickup truck! That's all you need. Normal. But they need all jacked up, they gotta look good. That's all, they, that's all you need you know, is a... You doctors, you don't know, deliver baby, they do all for heart surgery in the United States. So get a normal car, people, and charge decent prices for people. But people will pay because they work in Manhattan. And they take the bus or they take the train, you know, Holland Tunnel and go to freaking Manhattan. And they rip people off. These crooks in Manhattan rip, rip people off. Yeah, but they gonna look good. Everybody has to look good. Okay. Um, um, what a world we live in, James. What a world we live in. Well, you know, the ancients of two or three thousand years ago would just be disgusted. And you know what? The good man is disgusted. Richard Arthur McGuire is fed up with all these fakes. Yeah, and he and he quit Facebook. Yeah. He, he you know, he used up. to be he used to be a member. Uh, uh, in the early years of the International Brotherhood of Polybonds, and then he just terminated his, his his account completely, his profile and everything. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yeah, he just he just saw. Very, uh, but a lot of people like to take from him. Oh yeah, they picked his brains left and right. They never gave him credit. Let me. Uh, I credit. Now, uh, uh, copper divining rods. Um. Um. Did Richard Army McGuire blow off certain people in uh, in the centrifugal torque training world because uh, uh, they they all picked his brains and never gave him any thank you or credit? Yes, and that's why he got pissed. Um, how is he doing now? Because he had he had detached detached retina surgery. Is is uh, Richard Army McGuire doing okay with his eyes? Good. Good. I'm happy about that. Yeah, Richard Army McGuire from the Northeast. And he's very streetwise, and you just can't put up with these fakes. Oh, he's not. You know, he's no typical west coast person he's uh yeah he's from massachusetts he's from the northeast now and he's very very intelligent man and uh he sees right through everybody he pretty much told me about uh and i saved all of his letters uh his very educational emails that he sent to me and uh i i really should do something with them to honor, you know, uh, his education, uh, he just um, he just saw through everybody immediately, and uh, he he pretty much says that the the ancients uh, and and the people that um, operate Zirkenes are being disgraced by these these crooks, these swindlers. And um, uh, he just couldn't. Some people won't even swing a gutter. Because the clients want pretty painted orange and red and green uh, balloons. Uh, well, huh? that the same person doesn't want his clients to know he works in a warehouse during the daytime. Which is a very honorable job. 
by the way. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not a drug dealer. No, he's not. You know, but but you know, it it it, it worry worrying about Im image. Worrying about image is a form of snobbery or elitism, isn't it? When you when you're overly concerned uh, with I, image. I think it's more than that. I think it's selling out to appease people. To appease people that really don't care about you, that will never visit you in the hospital. Um, yeah. There, are, I know someone. I know more than one person that is so afraid of not being liked and, and accepted into the group. Silvio? Yeah. <laughs> well, Silvio was talking about, he was joking about celebrities that are insecure. Please love me. Please ex pay attention to me. Worship me. Ooh. You know, and, and uh, there are people that I know that are being bullied by these uh, dictators of these social media groups. You know the, that they always threaten to kick him out if he doesn't toe the line. Now, isn't it funny how all these people on social media get real tough when they're behind a keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or, the, or worse than that, James, when they view our recorded show, the recorded version of the live show, the next day. Well, they don't come. They, uh, or 64 views well they don't they don't come on live and actually actually say something they they come on all you spies you wooden torture horse spies they, they won't say anything because they're they're afraid that if they're shoveling the manure the 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 fecal matter that will tear it will tear the manure asshole <laughs> You know, is, are they uh, a copper divining rods? Is the reason why there are many uh, spectators that watch the recorded show and don't participate live? Is it because they're afraid that uh, Jeff Sambell and I will be like crocodiles at feeding time, and we'll we will we will bite their heads off? Yeah, but they're more than welcome to bite our heads off, but they. <laughs> Says they yes. don't want confrontation. Well, how could you bite the heads off of people that are always telling the truth and, and that are always honest? Yeah, you can talk to me. I'm not honest. Yeah, I'm you, you want an honest debate. And, and, and contrary to belief, we're not drunk bullies. Who the freak? I know who it is. But who's the rich? drunk bully? Now, now, what was the uh, the excuse? What the hell? It, we need hand jobs. No. What the hell? Is yeah, that we about? need hand. What are hand jobs? Hand jobs. We're talking about uh, hand jobs. Paul. We're talking about the one who's who's what the, the one who the one who is feeling Amuna Moo Amuna Moo for Kelly, the the man Taras. Paul Taras. And the, uh, yeah, he's smitten. He's smitten by her, Kelly. Yeah, says that we're bullies. We're 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 drunks. And 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 that uh, uh, we're the ones that we're the ones that need a, a hand job. Not, not, not Kashi, not, not Kashi being picked up at JFK Airport. We need the hand job. Uh, I was only, I was only. This is like 2019 here, or 2019, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, goodness. Well, that was meant, to, that was meant to be, hand job. that was meant to be a joke. I'm not, hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to Hold on for a second. Hand copper, job. copper divining rods. Based on all this talk about groupies and hero worshippers, is it very possible since a rock star has has groupies seducing them for sex, is it possible that in the fitness world that there also can be 
groupies and hero worshippers that might seduce? Uh, yeah, the camel toed individuals in upside down yoga positions that really shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, yes, it says yes. It says yes that it is very possible in the fitness world that a groupie hero worshiping female will seduce a male in the spotlight. So the the concept of the hand job in the car is 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 it far fetched? And one other question. No, hold on, hold on. You, you, no, no, don't confuse. Don't, don't confuse the rods. Let, let the rods answer the question. Hold on. No, it's not. No, it is not far fetched that there could be a hand job taking place in the car from the airport to the to the uh, Hilton Hotel. It is not far fetched. You hear now, that? There is a law having a little bit of, of, of um, antioxidant rich. Uh, blueberry wine from southern New Jersey. Yeah, you're right about that. I, I, I still and have some. With that. I still have some of that there. Skyrocket, I mean, skyrockets. It really, really is. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delay. I like that. Remember that song? Afternoon delight. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Gosh. <laughs> it sounds like Donna Shalali. Uh, Shalala, whatever her name is from Florida there. Oh my the god. Down there. Oh uh, 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 Janet Rhino. What was her name there? The rhinoceros. Janet Rhino. Oh, I remember her. No, no the um so, oh the midget. I mean the the little person. DNC, the X D and C chairman. The Shalala. You, you notice ever you know Wasserman Schultz there. Oh, Wasserman Schultz. Oh, she's part of the uh, the, the feminist uh, clan. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but, you know what? You know what I don't like. What I don't like about the neo the neoliberal is the uh, pandering uh, uh, um, special treatment that is given to every lobbying group imaginable. They have to be, oh, they can't offend anybody. They're so oh. desperate to get everyone to like them. Like, uh, um, it's, Like me, like me, look at me, love me. Love me, love me, don't, please, I cannot offend anyone ever. And, and you know what? The same thing applies to these people that jump on all these steel mace Facebook groups and web pages, you know, on yeah, social media. Problem. Videos on the freaking Facebook pages doing a uh, 35 pound, 40 pound swings with a freaking mace when they shouldn't be, unless I get like 270 pounds at Ken Beasley. That's different. Now, uh, 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 divine yeah, and 80 pounds or 200 pounds, you shouldn't be swinging uh, 35, 40 pounds. Asshole, stupid. And I'm talking about everybody yeah. that does that with the goddamn elbows out there. Now these people that go gaga over all these uh, steel mace social media pages are these people like lemming lemmings and followers that that just uh, that that desperately need to be a part of a group they def they do they desperately need to be accepted and liked all these people that 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 blow sunshine up everyone's ass on these steel mace. Uh, a Facebook page. Go play football or something. Do a real sport. Play tennis. Yes. Play something. Yes. These, so, so copper divining rods. These people. These people. That, these people that kiss up. To, Goddamn fool. These people that kiss up to the ones that created the steel mace Facebook groups. Are they like? Are they in, very insecure people? That, that need like a father figure to tell them what to do. <laughs> yes. Write a program for me. Write a program. Write a program. I Write a program. <laughs> oh, are they? Do they really? Uh, are, are they like little Jack? Are they like little Jack Horner's joke show? Shut up! 
Should they be should they be in prison in little little Jack Horner's joke shop? <laughs> says yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Hey, yes. Picture that. Hey, I'll write your program. I'll be I'll be a thousand. I'll be a, hey, it'll be it'll, it'll be another thousand dollars. I'll write your program. I'll write your program. Oh, you guys are bull. You guys. You guys are bullies. You're being bullies. Like like Paul Tarras, Walker Whiskey said. Now I'm bringing out the authentic Jingle Bells. Here, let me give you a double whammy. Oh, the Jews are right here. Oh, I can't get enough of that gal, that gal. Hey, maybe that. Denny, Denny Terrio. Merv Griffin's boyfriend was Denny Terrio. I can't get enough of the girl, and I put it on my bookshelf, so I'll never use it again in a correct time. Just like that shanna that looks so beautiful. The shanna board present. Use the goddamn shanna Stop it up. Use it. Now, Jeepers. 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 How are you looking at it for? Now, Jeepers, Creepers, where'd you get it, those pieces? Now, do you think... Do you think, uh, Jeff Zambello? Do you think? Do you think that? Do you think that the King Scepter, the the uh, steel, sh very shiny, uh, uh, Gata, Gata is is collecting dust with the shadow board? I am playing. I am playing. I am playing the world's smallest harmonica given to me by my buddy Jimmy Liguori. You're a bully. Uh, Sam Sham. Sam Sham and the Pharaohs. Wooly bully. I'm going to send the New Jersey State Troopers over so they can give me a breathalyzer. Yeah, breathalyzer to, to <laughs> why? To go to go live on social media? Gracious. Great balls of fire. But, but we need a hand job. A hand job. Listen. The fact of the matter is, Paul Taras, and you can look it up on Google, Taras. The fact of the matter is, your your clubs, your clubs with your watermark, your logo on, and your signature that nobody really, the world really doesn't. Free liquor. I love the world. I got some free liquor. Yeah. The world really doesn't. You're not a household uh, word name. You're not a household name yet. You're charging a lot of money, saying that you, you your clubs are made of the finest wood that money can buy. Elite, the most elite clubs known to man that are that are handcrafted to perfection. Oh yes, handcrafted. Handcrafted. And and and. Handcrafted for the hand job. For the hand job, and what happens? After over four hundred dollars is paid for six pound clubs, they crack, crack a toe east of Java. They crack right away, and well, the worst is Helder Gandra of uh, Northern Portugal. He's the biggest char uh, crook as far as uh, wood turners go, because he, you know, he glues planks uh, well, together. When a certain somebody though tells us that we need a hand job, does that mean? <laughs> We keep the hands together on the hand job, or do we keep the hands apart? 
Uh, well, usually the hand, the hand job is done by whether or not you're a right-handed or a left-handed. So I think only one hand is used. Listen to a disco song titled "Ringing My Bell, Bell, Ringing My Bell, Ting a Ling a Ling." I gotta find, you know, I gotta find that song. It, it, it's called "Ring in My Bell." It's a. Oh, that was Chicago. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Ba da 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 da. All right, listen. No, seriously, I, I, I. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's a great song. That was a fantastic group. They played all the instruments, horns, strings. I mean, uh, even Casey, yeah, even yeah. Casey and the Sunshine Band had all different instruments. And yeah. uh, uh, what, what was the other one? Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, oh, I love Earth, Wind, and Fire. They had all the instruments too. Uh, now, the thing is, don't I know that was Paul was behind Rosewater Kinetics with all that marketing, all those fancy words. I know. Was Paul uh, Divining Rods? Was Paul Terrace Walkowinski the one who wrote that marketing mumbo jumbo on Rosewater Kinetics webpage? Yes, it was. It was Paul Terrace Walkowinski who did that. Yes, 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 it is. So, you know, um, uh, is is uh, the the mustachioed man, the thinly mustachioed man from Southern California? Does he deliberately keep all of his uh, essential uh, risque escapades a secret from everyone? Uh, um, for Obvious reasons. Yes. Oh, okay. What are the obvious reasons? Uh, the obvious That's reasons right. of fear of having uh, to pay alimony to two different women. <laughs> yes. well, I thought it had something to do with the IRS. Is, does <laughs> has he been has he been has he been declaring the cash payments from his <laughs> seminars to the Internal <laughs> Revenue Sir to the Internal <laughs> To the Internal Revenue oh. Service, Internal Revenue. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, I love it. oh, wait a minute. Oh, so wait a minute. Now, in other words, is there any golden capons yet? Well, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's two, there's two, Chris Falcone and uh, and Antonio Rodriguez, but uh, they're not capons though. They're real people. They're real people. Now, now, uh, is um, is 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 the skinny mustachioed man from Southern California hiding money from the Internal Revenue Service? Oh, oh my God. Says yes. Yeah. It says oh, uh, it says yes. Is he? Uh, is he is he by any chance uh, having? Uh, is there Wi-Fi available in in Austin, Texas? Well, first let me ask: it, is is the thinly mustachioed uh, is, is, is the thinly mustachioed man of the of the Mace World uh, uh, copulating with uh, one of these Mexican girls at the drive-through where he gets his breakfast burrito? Yes, yes. Does he? Did, 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 did he razzle? Did he razzle? Did he razzle dazzle her by speaking Spanish with a Mexican accent? Oh, big yes, big yes. And did he tell the young girl what a famous dude he was in in, in the uh, alternative fitness world? <laughs> yes, a big fat yes. Now you were talking about um, 
a hotel clerk in Italy saying that uh, he didn't speak proper Spanish or something like that. Did uh, was there any uh, hanky panky between the inter the Italian interpreter? But he wishes I, I wouldn't mind some hanky panky with that Italian interpreter. No, there was no, there was, no. The, 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 the copper <laughs> div the copper dividing rod says there was no hanky panky. Now, <laughs> now, uh, um, you were uh, you were mentioning uh, something before I I talked about the breakfast burrito. You were saying about um. Well, I had to pay six hundred dollars for the uh, fatty albacore. Uh, just uh, just had to buy dinner. But, uh, oh, you mean from from Minnesota, fatty albacore? I don't know. All I know is that a fatty albacore got a free pass. Did fatty albacore? Was she like 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 a? Uh, it, was she like a? a like a he like a heavy metal rock star groupie, was she willing to get down on her knees and polish the old knob when she when she flew to uh, uh, Wisconsin? Yes. Oh, no wonder she's chubby. But there's nothing to do in Manhattan or New Jersey, or but there's lots to do in Wisconsin. Well, because we don't have breasts and a vagina. That's why. You might as well go to North Dakota for kind of lot. There's nothing, there's nothing to do, nothing to do in the New York metropolitan area and in northern New Jersey. Here, folks. Move along. Move along the Wait a minute. Here's a better question. I know we asked this before. Were, were Jeff Zambello and yours truly, myself, were, were we alibis, uh, whereas uh, the man did not go directly home to Southern California? Oh, yes, we're oh, we're alibis. We're alibis. So, uh, so, alibi, alibi. so does does this uh, does this man of the circular world with the thin muscle with the, with the thin oh, muscle? Alibi, alibi from Alabama. Won't you marry me? Didn't didn't Al Jolson sing and say, "Mammy, you're from Alabama. You're from out. Al my mammy's from Alabama. Alabama. Angel it, on my knee. I remember who sang that. Young girl, get out of my mind. Was that Gary Puckett? Oh, Gary Puckett. And the Union Gap. Union Gap. Yo, girl, 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 your ticky is your ticky is too hot. hot. Uh, ticky Taro. Uh, uh, door buzzer, uh, ticket window establishment behind the cattle box will make my father a very very proud. Oh, 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 we're not going to make it easy for anybody. You, you <laughs> got, you got to join a group, and you got to follow. Hey, James, I'm very hungry. I need some stringy pastrami from <laughs> Pastor's Deli. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you enjoy my videos of the crow's nest because yeah, you the, gro <laughs> the crow's nest. Now groupies, now groupies. <laughs> Now, now, uh, uh, he is obviously, you know, he he's not self-proclaimed celebrity. He was he was named such by hero worshiping groupies, but the female groupies, uh, really, female groupies of of uh, circular training, would they spread their legs to s such a man doing a seminar? Pastrami, yes. The labia, the pastrami, the kosher labia, yes. So anyway, um, it was uh, very educational, very invigorating. Uh, 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 believe it or not. Michael, call me, honey. Uh, Daddy's on the live show with Uncle James. Hey, Michael, I'll, I'll play the juice harp for you. Michael. I'll go James, I'm going to play the, the, the hop, the juice hop for you. Come on, honey. 
Come here, you're on the live show? Come on. On the phone. Hey, Michael. Michael, come here. Elbows up, elbows down, hands together. Anyway, this is the deal. The deal is we. we hello, Mikey. Uh, how's your exercising going? Good? Uh, I'm good. Good, 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 good. Listen, your father's the best, the best trainer you'll ever have. Hands together. All right, listen. Six hundred dollars. We're about six hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oh, my goodness, that's fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand dollars. We a, a person? <laughs> that's funny. That's real funny. Yeah, he, uh, uh, Mikey's, Mikey, Mikey's, Mikey's, Mikey's talking like he belongs on Wall Street with the $15,000. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Well, anyway, tomorrow is buffet day, and um, I will now uh, sign off with the bosun's whistle. Yes, sir. Because I think, I think we exposed... Just about everything that needs to be exposed. I mean, of course, we can go on and on about retail. We can talk about fine jewelry and the, the, the diamond scamming, and uh, uh, we can go the on. Cubic zirconia for a dollar. The cubic zirconia is aesthetically to the eyeball just as good as a perfect diamond. There is no need to spend thousands of dollars. On a real diamond, believe me, and 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 I get them from the, the Dollar Tree, not the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Zone. I get them from the Dollar Zone for a buck. So um, um, I got the. Uh, I'll show you these sapphires, fake from from the um, study ring, from the um, the uh, Dollar zone yeah, hold on, Mike, mommy. there you go Mikey, we're, we're the show, Mike, mommy. Just, Mikey's on the phone here with Uncle James yeah he'll be all right I, I just gotta blow I just gotta blow the boss's whistle I'm showing the uh, the uh, cubic zirconia sapphire uh, the dollar pair uh, uh, there you go there you go yeah, tell Peter to keep his place down. The They're all the same. Uh, nah, you know what? You know what? I mean, if if I go in for an oil change, let it be an oil change. Don't don't you know? Start looking all over for for excuses to you know ring the bill up. Anyway, here goes. Arr. Welcome to our alternative centrifugal uh, torque fitness live show uh, and, and also um, consumer advocates. That's part that's part of progressive discussions. We'll see you next time. Jeff Sambello and Mikey, have a good evening. I'll talk to you soon. Hands together, that's right. All right, right on.
This has been a Mega Life 21 production.